Uh, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Toke Master, coming to you with the, another part of the new installment, Chit Chat and Smoke That, and you know what today is. Cuban Thursday. And today I will be enjoying a, a Monte Cristo Petite Edmundo. It's a uh, 52 ring gauge by like four and a half, five inches. And of course, you know I got my espresso. It is about three o'clock in the afternoon. Getting a bit of a late start today, but as you know, duty calls at work. So I had to handle that. But sit back, light you one up, get ready for the festivities. What's up, everybody? Again, it's your boy Toke Master. Flex the shirt, the hoodie, get the vibes. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that button over there. Subscribe, like, comment, share your thoughts, tell me what you think. Good person over here. But let's get into it. So, this little bugger here, I got a five pack of these. And I'm very glad that I did. They came in yesterday. And I actually completely forgot that today was Thursday. I've been so busy. Um, so I'm making this on a whim, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> but, um, man, this is a fantastic smoke, man. It's much better, much stronger than the number two. Same size, just the, the length is different. And uh, I got... One more number two torpedo in my humidor. Maybe this week, nah, because I only got one, so I'm gonna continue to let it rest. It's been sitting for about a year. So I'm gonna let it rest, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. But uh, yeah, this thing is, is, is shorter. It's a short smoke, it goes perfect with my coffee. I have been bojangling on getting my goddamn um chocolate bourbon coffee i don't know why i just i don't know i just have you know how sometimes you just like be like all right i know i gotta do something and then you don't necessarily forget you just don't do it and then when you remember again it's like oh yeah i gotta go do this and you still don't do it that's me and my coffee as much as i'm on the site buying cigars and whatnot i don't even look at the coffee page i'm just worried about the cigars and i officially did a count over the weekend, over, not really over, well, I started on the weekend, but I finished up um, last couple of days. I got a new humidor for Christmas. Um, it holds 150. So what I did was I transferred all of my Cuban cigars to that one. All the ones that my Cuban cigars were in, I put all of my Provada Cigar Club and Luxury Cigar Club cigars in there. And the Cuban cigar one is full. I couldn't even, I, I had to find space to fit these in there. This was just a five pack. Um, the one with the Provada and Luxury sticks in it, it's not full, but I have plenty of space to, you know, put more stuff in there. But I did a count and I have 687 cigars. That's, I have the, 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 the one that my Cubans are in holds 150. 
the one that my subscription cigars are in holds 200. I have a cooler door that holds roughly 200. And I have uh, four, no, three glass top 50 count humidors and one that doesn't have a glass top, two that don't have a glass top, I'm sorry, and two Tupperwares. I think it might be time to chill out a little bit. Psych. <laughs> mm. But I am going to start to uh, dial back on how much I buy. But it's just, you know, if you remember when I first started doing this, sh this channel, I used to always say, I never buy cigars when someone tells me that it's great because I've been burned by that. I can now eat those words because um, I have come across quite a few cigars here lately that people have told me were good and I smoked them. The Katsugi is the number one out of, uh, I think it's by Alec and Bradley Katsugi. Then there's the... Um, there's another one by Alec and Bradley. I can't remember the name of it, but it's one of my favorite smokes by them. Magic Toast was actually another one that somebody told me about. And something made me think of like Cinnamon Toast Crunch when I heard the name. And then when I saw it, it still kind of made me look like it was gonna be sweet. It's not, but it's a great cigar. If you've never had a, um, a Magic Toast by Alec Bradley, you should jump on that and try one out. They're pretty good. Man. I'm sorry if I'm making mouth noises, I'm sorry. But that coffee is hot and it's good. So I'm trying to get it, swish it, get it down quick. My bad. But uh, what we gonna talk about today? All right, we're gonna start with some, some NFL football, of course. So Dallas is playing San Francisco. I like that game. I think that's going to be a good game because they're just enough good and bad for it to be a good game. I think we're going to win. It'll be our first playoff. No, well, yeah, first playoff win. This will be Dak's second playoff win and what he's been in the league for four or five years now. But we're looking bad when it comes to uh, playoff wins in the last two decades almost. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, I do think that Dallas is going to win. Um, I think that defense is, will be able to hold up. Uh, Garoppolo has a, like a torn ligament in his hand. I'm not sure if it's his throwing hand, but uh, yeah, he has that bad ligament in his hand. Our defense has been going crazy. Um, there's a lot of chatter about like Sir Kelly Moore might be going to coach the charge. I mean, uh, the Jaguars and. Dan Quinn also might have opportunity to you know, interview for that job and whatnot. I really hope that them guys stay and really try to see what they can do with this particular Cowboy squad that they have. That'll be a good look. Um, don't know much about any other team, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm happy to see uh, Derrick Henry come back. from. Uh, he had like some type of torn something in his foot. I think it was the plantar fasciitis or something like that. And... Um, Anxious to see how he plays when he comes back. I don't know who they play, but. For people that don't like Cuban cigars, man, I just really don't understand where that comes from, man. I love them. I absolutely love them. Just trying to touch up this burn right quick. Oop, a little too much, man. Yeah. It'll be all right. It's a little windy out here. I would have been using matches. Become quite fond of those here lately. It was a uh, show here in DC. It's like it's winter time, of course, but when it's like forty degrees outside, forty-five degrees outside, the sun is shining, so I can sit out here, you know, do my work on my laptop, you know, uh, burn me one or whatnot. It was so nice out here yesterday. I burned two, about two hours in between each other. And uh, I like these. You know, it's making it a little easier for me to record because I have a window <laughs> between 12 and about, between like 11, 11.30 and about 4 o'clock. Because about 4.30 is when the sun start coming down, my kids start coming home from school. 
you know, so I gotta, you know, be done with like little things like this. And st I still have work, I get off at five. So I do these on my lunch break. If you don't like, you know what? Go down in my comments. If you don't like Cuban cigars, let's talk about it. I want you to explain to me why. I've heard people say the flavor is off or, or the, it's not a lot of flavor. You know, uh, Nicaraguan tobacco is better. Dominican tobacco is better and all that kind of stuff like that. For me, I like Cuban cigars because they're, they're they, when you, when you, I'm just, how do you put how you how I put it? They're full body, and they give me like a a uh, like I'm eating something sweet. And then when I mix it with my coffee, it makes my coffee taste better. It makes my mood that much better. It's just a relaxing smoke. And I'm somebody I don't necessarily smoke for flavors and notes and all that. I smoke for the relaxation and to talk with you. That's what I do. So, I like them. I, I really do. I don't really know what else to say about that, but I, I like them. You know? This is about a good 45 minute smoke. I tend to smoke fast, especially when it's a little chilly outside. And I'm not, I'm not necessarily trying to hurry up, but I want to get one in, so I'm going to smoke. <laughs> you know, that's just what I want to do. But I'm going to get a little bit further down into this. Uh, you see I'm about at the halfway point here. I'm going to get to about the band. It's blowing good. It's smoking good. Good, Lots of good smoke output. I think I'm going to smoke one more of these, and then I'm going to age the other three till about the end of the year. Maybe my birthday. But when I come back, I tell y'all what I plan to smoke for my birthday. So y'all relax, keep smoking, I'll be back in a minute. Hey, real quick, don't forget to hit that like button over here, that subscribe button right here. Make sure you get with me, hit that bell. Make sure you are notified when I drop new content, because trust me, it's going to be worth it. Follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram at toke underscore master. Believe me, some good stuff coming. You don't want to miss out. All right, so I'm back. Now this bad boy here is just smoking so good. So good. But, <clears throat> so, as you know, my birthday is in June. And I have a goal of getting to 300 subscribers by the time I hit my birthday. Trying to get to 200 by March. I'm at about 184, 185, something like that. It's been a couple of days since I checked. Uh, I know I lost the subscriber, you know, it's unfortunate, but you know, whoever you were, you know, I thank you for the time that you did give me. Um, so if I do make the 300 by my birthday, what I'm gonna do is give someone five of my favorite cigars. It's gonna be a combination of Cubans, Nicaraguans, Dominicans, and things of that nature. And as you see, I've smoked some pretty good stuff. I'm not gonna give you no junk. Believe that. <clears throat> um, so that's the goal. You know, if I can get to that 300, I'm definitely gonna do that. So, it's just kind of tough. I'm still learning this whole promotion thing. It's not like when I was doing music real, real heavy. You know, you just throw, throw the music in any type of platform that uh, involves music, up and coming music. It's not a lot of that for YouTube. What you have to do with YouTube is you have to find people who are into the same things, such as cigars and whiskey. And it's a lot of people, but they're on public platforms like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You know, there's a lot of Facebook groups, yes, but I don't really fool with those because, you know, a lot of them show not necessarily favoritism, but, you know, you're swimming in a sea of a couple hundred people that post selfies smoking and what they smoking, what they got in the mail and all that old kind of stuff. So, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, so it's a little bit of a battle, but it's coming along and I, I, I'm okay with that. But that's the goal. I'm going to do five, maybe more 
cigars, maybe some swag too, you know, I've been pushing my shirts and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, that's the goal. So my birthday is in June, June 22nd. I'll be turning 40. Goddamn 40. That's a whole nother conversation in itself. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm thinking about having a party. You know, um, I don't know what kind of party or, you know, whatever. But I know there's going to be cigars and alcohol involved. Uh, it'll be summertime. Hopefully we're not shut down and no craziness like that. Um, it should be a good thing. It should be a fun time. I don't hang out with a lot of people, so me having a party is going to consist of just like a small gathering of people. No more than 10 people tops. None of, <clears throat> only, only like one or two people in my family smoke cigars, and uh, they're much older than I. So, you know, I'll invite them, but you know, you never know with OGs, you know, whether they're going to show up or not, especially with this COVID crap going on. Um, but yeah. That's the goal, you know, try to just, you know, push this channel, you know, chit chat, smoke that, cause that's what we doing today. Let me take this band off. Yeah, but so far my year's going good. I gotta get my furnace replaced. It went out on me last week and being that I have a maintenance background, I've been able to kind of keep it running <clears throat> since it went out on me, keep the family warm, but she gone. Like, I got to literally tweak it every eight to ten hours, so I got to check it, make sure I check it before I go to bed, because one day I woke up, it was about 40 degrees in the house, man, and I'm in the basement. Snow outside? Yeah, no. <laughs> And I keep a fan blowing because I don't like to be hot, but I also don't want to be cold. You know, I got from underneath the blanket to get out of the bed. That cold hit me and was like, oh, pause, young man. Get back in that bed under them covers. <laughs> it was no fun, boy. It was no fun. But, yeah, so they coming tomorrow to fix it. That's why I wanted to make sure I got this video recorded and done today done today so that I can get everything situated. Got to move a bunch of stuff down in. It's in the basement in the laundry room with a furnace that, and I don't have a split system. I actually have a mini boiler, a self-contained unit. So hopefully, with the unit that they putting in, hopefully it won't take long. Because if it's a self-contained unit, you just pretty much undo the wiring, undo the piping, and um, shut you know shut the water off of course, and uh, just pull the unit out and just you know drag it out. It's, it weighs a lot. You know you got to make sure you drain it. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I don't, you don't want to hear about all that maintenance stuff. But yeah, 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 that's just my my background. I did maintenance for 20 years, man, and now I'm in the office. They, I guess it finally paid off because now I don't work with these. I work with this, and my knowledge of this stuff has helped me a lot in this field. As far as, you know, paperwork and talking to contractors and whatnot. But, yeah. So, you know, NFL football, Cowboys, I just don't know. But we'll see. Birthday. Oh, the two cigars that I'm going to smoke for my birthday. I'm going to enjoy, if I can find them, get my hands on them, the Opus X BBMF, which is the big bad motherfucker and the Davidoff Royal. Both of those cigars are a minimum of $100 a piece. That's what I wanna smoke for my 40th birthday, those two. I don't know what I'm gonna drink yet. I'm trying to find um, George T. Stag, regular Stag or Stag Jr., um, E.H. Taylor Rye. Uh, you know, it's a couple of things I'm looking for, you know, as far as what I'm going to sip on for my 40th. Get a nice hotel room. I'm probably going to stay local. I ain't really going to be making no noise. I'm going on a cruise in March. So uh, be on the lookout for those videos, too. This will be my first cruise ever. Again, hopefully things will go well and, you know, they, they allow us to go. I ain't trying to be one of them people that's stuck. 
on a goddamn cruise ship. But <sighs> we'll figure it all out. But uh, yeah, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. If you stayed until the end, I appreciate you. Don't forget to follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram at toke underscore master. Follow me on Facebook at Big Smoke Toke. I'm going to post the link to the official Cigar Smokers Anthem. I'm, I'm still working on that. Don't worry about that album. It's going to come out. It's going to come out. Uh, yeah, so you know it's Thursday, Friday Eve. You know, we get off early tomorrow because uh, Monday's a holiday. So I look forward to that. Probably be somewhere doing this indoors. Petworth. But y'all take it easy, and I catch y'all on the next one. Gone.